Hello, everybody, and welcome into another new Steve Henry show. It's great to have everybody here on. Uh, it is a filet mignon day. It is National Filet Mignon Day, for that matter, for the entire United States. And as you saw in the Wednesday video, I hope you all saw that video, we went out searching, literally, for the best filet mignon. And very disappointed, loved ones, as we made our way through. Uh, even got to a cow field, if you saw that. Now, that was uh, really tempting. Um, <laughs> we could have had some real fresh filet. Local meat, as we uh, as we say. But nonetheless, we have provided for you, uh, for you today, a... Uh, a compilation of three filet mignon entrees or dishes that I promise you you'll never see anywhere else um, and why do we do this well we do this for the wow effect if you're new to the show we take a normal item a filet mignon no big deal right that's a good steak and all but we glorify it we want you to be able to do what we do here God gives me these beautiful ideas and I put these into some kind of a motion and present them and I hope you at some point maybe flash back to these and say wow that's a pretty cool idea because what we want is we want your people when they come to your house and have a filet mignon not to just have a filet mignon with a baked potato and some peas uh, on a plate that's not how we do things here we want the wow effect and that's what we shoot for here and that's what we're going to do we're not going to disappoint today it will not be a disappointment day in fact it's going to be a very profitable day we are going to first of all let me introduce these three items to you i'm going to come out fresh here if i don't trip over the cords we have number two go to the left there that is our sushi compilation. Now that is a filet mignon that has been pan seared with some special herbs and sliced. Sushi is, yes, it's rare or perhaps raw. Uh, and so you take that raw piece of meat or rare piece of meat, lay it over some rice and some seaweed, in this case spinach, and we're going to drizzle it with some special sauces. And when we're done, the flavor is going to be like sushi, but it's not, it's not tuna. It's filet mignon. Wow. Is that not cool or what? For you sushi lovers. And there are a few of you out there. Going towards the middle, we have number one. This is a rack of ribs. Okay, look at the ribs there. Now, if you look close enough up in the top, they came off a barbecue. What? Is that a barbecue? Yeah. It's a watermelon that we literally barbecued these ribs on. It's a display, obviously. But you get it. The, the point, we, we made a hibachi uh, out of a watermelon, and uh, the ribs came right off that. Now, those aren't really ribs. That's filet mignon. Filet mignon formed into a rib uh, assessment, if you will, or a, a compilation or an assembly. And that, that is literally uh, probably going to be the most tenderest ribs you ever tasted. Now, those were marinated and then uh, barbecued. We got our sauce uh, with our orange hat, and that's kind of cool. That's number one. Um, and number three over here is actually the filet pot pie. You know what? Yeah, a filet pot pie. You um, literally take the filet mignon, and first of all, what is a filet mignon? Let's define that perfectly for us. That is basically a four inch piece of meat that we cut out of the tenderloin. The tenderloin can be about 12 to 18 pounds depending on the size of the, of the beef. The tenderloin comes right next to the spleen. It is the least used portion of the beef or steer. Therefore, it's the tenderest piece of meat on the carcass of the, of the cow. But, you know, is it flavorful? Is there marble? Is there fat? You know, is there, is there all that there? Well, there is, but you have to enhance it. In other words, uh, like sushi style or like barbecue style or like, check this out, the pot pie style. This is literally a beef pot pie. We made a pot pie and we stuffed it into the filet mignon. This is a pretty large filet. It's about an eight ounce filet, but it's hollowed out. And we made a, uh, a beef stew, if you will, or a beef pot pie uh, portioned out of the, uh, the filet mignon. And we cap it with a, a nice biscuit top. We put a handle on it. That's the handle and you just la la la. So, so, so. And with your hook and your handle and all that good stuff. So you've got your beef pot pie, you've got your barbecued ribs, and you've got your sushi. These are all different, but they're all the same filet mignon. It's taken from the filet. Now, what, why are we doing all this? Well, we want to have a contest or a vote. Your vote really does count in this show. Uh, we're going to vote today on which one you think based on, where's my list? The three criteria. That's right. Presentation, creativity, and how will that taste when it goes into your mouth upon your lips, you see. Now, that's the criteria. Presentation, voila, pretty nice. 
Creativity, how creative is that? Well, that's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before, right? And uh, how will it taste is the third one. Now, using those three criterias, you will vote on which one of these you like the best. The one, or ones, I should say, who actually end up with the most. Say, like, everyone votes for number one, okay? Obviously, everybody would go into the spinner once, and we would spin the first person pulled out of that spinner on Wednesday will be a winner of $500. The second person, $250. The third person, $100. Now, how many times are we going to do this? <laughs> that's a great question. We might only do $500 once because that's a little stinger, but we might do $250 a couple, three times. And of course, we might do $100 five or 10 times. I don't know. That's my secret to you, loved ones, because this is your channel and we are growing and the money is starting to flow. And as I promised you in the beginning, way back when, when the money starts to flow, so too will the proceeds. And these proceeds go directly to you. This is your channel. It always has been. It does start with God. He, he gives me these ideas and we come up with a lot of fun. So it's an entertaining show, but it's also a profitable show. Uh, today we will spin for that. Now there's a number uh, back behind me here. That's number 10, if you will. You see that number 10? Let's uh, put some fire to that. This is number 10 and we're going to light this for a particular reason. Uh, the reason being 10 is a very monumental number uh, to the new Steve Henry show right now. And the reason for that is uh, we have just surpassed 10,000 subscribers. That's right, 10,000 subscribers. How did we do that? Well, we did that through some assistance from abroad. Um, again, as I mentioned before, uh, we have a local uh, community and we have a long distance community. You loved ones are a portion uh, of the short or the local community. Uh, you've been with us since day one, or a lot of you have. There's about three or 400, uh, or uh, almost 500 now that circulate, uh, not so much on the live. We have about 90 to 100 on the live. And then afterwards we go and we have about another four or 500 that watch the uh, video of the live video after the, uh, the, the live video, it's called the post game show. So we have a 10 here, that 10 represents 10,000 subscribers. I'm gonna do the honors and blow those out and have a piece of cake. All right, I might wait that, JB and I will have some cake. But that is the carrot cake and that is the reason for the 10, that is pretty cool. So congratulations. Now, YouTube, as I mentioned last week, was so kind to us, they are literally giving us on the right side of your screen, those are suggested videos. Now in that suggested pile, you will see the new Steve Henry show and you will see a mix says M-I-X. That mix is nothing more than all of our videos, uh, a playlist, if you will. Now, when you click that, you'll get the entire Steve Henry Show library. I want you to do that because the first person that uh, can give me the answer to this question in the comment section will be uh, the recipient of $100. I wanna know what, what was our very, very first first video that the new Steve Henry show produced. It had to do with food. Yes, it did. It was about two years ago in October of 2020, just during the COVID scare, we produced our very first video. We were trying to find our footing. We didn't know what to do. I wanted to do something. I want out of the car business. I'm going to do this full time. Give, 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 give. And so we literally, um, uh, thought some ideas. We did a, a lot of skits. That was our, our first uh, month was skits. We did a lot of skits. It was like uh, Seinfeld. Every week I had to come up with something that was so funny. And we do have some funny ones. A Cheech and Chong video was very cool. Uh, and we did some great videos. But what was our very first, very first video? Uh, and the title or name to that video, that will be worth $100 to the first person who gets that in the comment section today. All right, so without further ado, we are going to describe each one of these three entree items in detail so you get the gist of exactly what they are. I'll prepare them for you next week, but Wednesday, uh, now let me roll back here a moment. After or during today's show, you have up until Wednesday to put your vote, vote in, cast your ballot, if you will. So in the comment section, Green Fairy or Titus or, you know, uh, Word Builder, whomever, you say, I had number two for sure, okay? But don't do it yet. No, ho, ho, ho. You're going to need to know the full description. I may uh, enhance or change your decision. This is the last minute. This is the 11th hour uh, of what to vote for and uh, so on and so forth. But again, to, to recap, the winning number of entree that wins the most will go into a spinner. The second will go into a center and the third, uh, third one will go into a spinner. All three will be first, second, and third. The first person I pull out of the winner of the, of the most casted ballots for that entree will be a $500 recipient. I'm going to do some 250s and I'm going to do some 100s as well. So, but without further ado, let's go ahead and describe these. Over here, this is again our sushi 
filet mignon. What we've done is we've taken a bed of spinach, uh, we've wilted that spinach, and we've topped it with some steamed rice, or, or basically we call it the sushi rice, and then we top it with that filet mignon. Now that filet mignon was literally pan seared with some seasonings, pan seared in some very hot oil. So the outer coating, or the crust if you will, was uh, nothing more than um, uh, a seasoned piece of beef. Now, uh, my staff is going absolutely crazy here because they see the numbers. That is a true number, loved ones. We have exploded on the scene. When I told you that snowball was slowly rolling down the road, it is rolling down the road. They, they are, I, I'm, 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 usually when I see my staff run around the hallway like this, it's, there's a problem. There's no sound or there's a microphone. April is literally going bananas in there and she's <laughs> disrupting everything here by her excitement, her jubilance. Calm down, everybody. We do. We have over a thousand people watching. Someday I'm told it'll be 50,000. Yeah, okay, we'll see. But anyways, the flaming back to the filet mignon. So we have that crusted outer edge of the filet mignon. We, we take it out rather quickly and then we slice it. It's still, in many cases, Vienna, you would agree with me, that is raw. That cow is still mooing, okay? But for those of us that like it rare, medium rare, it's actually very good. Now, what we do, we actually drape it with a nice wasabi ginger soy glaze. And that goes over the rice. And then we also have a little bit of a red chili, uh, just a little bit of a red chili glaze that goes over the top of that as well. Now, you can see the garnish here, uh, the palm trees uh, made out of the carrot. That is very cool. I, I think that is a beautiful ensemble of, of display there. You've got your chopsticks, you've got your rice, and you've got your garnish, your wasabi ginger. But when you bite into that, loved ones, when you take that onto a plate and you get the, the rice and the wilted spinach seasoned beef and the uh, the sauce, the glaze or the drill, the dripping, if you will, uh, it is an amazing flavor. Your mouth will explode with flavor. Now, you have to be kind of a sushi lover, okay? Yenny, I know. Uh, well done, it's not gonna work. All right, so in this, that's, that's uh, uh, I moved the numbers around, that's number two. So if you like number two, the sushi, that's the one you wanna vote for, okay? No, next up over here, we are going to have our number one, that's our filet rack, okay? Now, normally a rack of ribs are, you know, crunchy, chewy, you gotta, you gotta do that kind of thing. These are literally filet strips of beef formed into a rack that has been barbecued. Now, naturally not barbecued on the hibachi, but look at that hibachi. Is that not cool? This is literally the lid to the hibachi. Uh, you know, uh, this is an edible paint, by the way. You can buy edible paint. Uh, and the watermelon uh, ensemble here uh, was laid there. And if I light this properly, you will see uh, it actually does work. This is the real, the real deal. You can actually light your own barbecue. And as you light your barbecue, uh, you can put your rack of ribs on there. Ha ha. But it, it's a nice garnish. You could actually put that on the table when you're serving it. And if I blow that out, you'll see the smoke, baby, the effect. Look at that. So can we get a good shot of that? That is a beautiful, that's a real grill in action, loved ones, okay? So you have the rack of ribs and you have your barbecue sauce. So the rack of ribs is nothing more than strips of filet mignon that have been marinated. And then, as I mentioned, you've got to pipe up that filet a little bit. Has been seasoned and then actually put on a barbecue. Now you have the sauce to go over it and you would literally just pick that up and put it on a plate. Now, when you go to eat this, obviously you're not going to be fighting gristle or bone matter it is 100 percent clean trimmed off filet mignon but the flavor is incredible and you pick it up just like a rack of ribs that's pretty cool now that is number two if i'm not uh if i'm not mistaken or not um, excuse me number one number one i move these around just to uh, make things interesting so number one is our rack of ribs do you like that if you like that you want to vote for number one uh, and you can put a temperature on that too, medium rare, medium, medium well. You could, you could cook the living daylights out of it, uh, Yenny, and still have a, a nice well done piece of meat. All right, look at those numbers. Holy smokes, that is a lot of people, loved ones, and I'm, I'm very happy. Uh, we have a, a young lady in Pakistan who is helping me um, do our long distance uh, community, and she is doing a fabulous job. If you are watching, uh, I am very impressed with how, you, uh, how well you've adapted, and we're gonna bring you on on a full-time basis to really blow this out. Uh, having you on board, our numbers have just, in, just gone crazy, but I want to assure our local community, you guys are our, our gist, okay? You've been with us and the contest and, and all that stuff. It is, if you want to join and, and partake in the giveaways, you've got to go to the new Steve Henry Show. Dot com. That is the new Steve Henry Show dot com. And you got to register. Okay, that way I can send you out a check. We gave a lot of checks away. Uh, this is a cooking show, entertainment show, but it's a show that um, 
I am in the I am in the business of giving back. That's that's who God has assigned me to do is to give everything back. There are no profits left over at the end of this uh, endeavor. Everything goes back to the people who participate in the show. How do you participate? Well, we send out a, an email blast on Wednesday. You get the email blast on Wednesday. You make a comment on it. And you can comment anything you like. You can even say you don't like the show. No problem. Okay as long as you comment on it. We also send out an email on Saturday prior to the live show. So we have a video on Wednesday. It's about a two minute video. It lets you know what's coming on the Saturday show, a little preview. Uh, go back and watch the last one. It was kind of fun. Uh, we went on the road and we're gonna be doing a lot more of that too, by the way. As uh, money comes in, production costs will rise and we're gonna get more creative as time goes by. So it's gonna be a lot of fun uh, and a lot more giveaways. As I mentioned, uh, what, what, is, what does this all mean? Well, instead of a $500 first prize, uh, maybe in a month we'll have a $1,000 first prize. I don't know, whatever the number ends up being, it's, it's your show and it's yours to get and mine to give back. Open up a bottle of sake. That goes well with just about everything. Of course, the sushi. Uh, we miss we miss the, shot, uh, the sake. All right. So the last one. This one here. Spin this around. This is kind of an interesting one. This is the pot pie number three. This is a good. Uh, people call this soul food, or they call it comfort food. But literally, you make a hearty beef stew out of all the trimmings of your filet mignon or your tenderloin. You get your tenderloin. You trim it out, uh, you, and you're able to make a, a nice beef stew. Peas, carrots. Um, potato uh, and a nice stock with your with your filet mignon you thicken it up real nice and I, I like to put a nice biscuit on the very top that's a cap but underneath there you can see get a good shot of that if you will that is a good beef pot pie that's been stuffed literally into a filet mignon this filet mignon is a rather large one it's about eight to ten ounces but it's been pan seared also in those seasonings so the objective here is to pour your beef stew or your pot pie mixture into your stuffed filet after you uh, you've cut it hollowed it out and pan seared it and uh, you put it all together with a with a uh, nice handle. That's a pot handle. Get it? Pot pie. There's your there's your handle. There's your hook on your handle. It would, would hang on the shelf there. And literally, you would put your uh, your uh, your biscuit cap on top of it. But the whole objective is that goes into the oven just like that. And when it comes out of the oven, you would literally just cut it with a fork, and you get the whole experience of eating the entire filet mignon and the contents from within. Is that not cool or what? All right. So that are those are your three choices. Now this is number uh, this is number three. Okay. So if you like the pot pie, that's number three. Now you can only vote once. You have to be 18, okay, and you have to have registered at the new stevehenryshow.com in order to receive and participate in this uh, voting extravaganza. Now, once again, we're going to give you until Wednesday to come up with your vote. Hey, I'm the Green Fairy. Hey, I'm Titus. I'm going for number three. Okay, that's it. We're only going to, the first one in there, you can change your mind 20 times, but I'm only going to take that first one. That will go into three spinner, number two spinner, number one spinner, okay? And first place, obviously, second place, third place. And we will spin on Wednesday. I will announce on Wednesday uh, the, the winner uh, or the winners. This was number one, this was number two, and this was number three. I won't actually spin until the live show on Saturday. Got it? Wednesday, uh, the barbecue ribs was the first one, the sushi won second, and the pot pie was third. That's what you're going to find out on Wednesday. You're going to find out if you, you know, uh, am I sitting in the $500 spin or the $250 spin or the $100 spin. Got it? Okay, I think you got it. I got it. I got it. JB, you got it? JB? JB? Does JB have it? JB? Hi, buddy. That's my dog, JB. Stands for John the Baptist. Moses is my other dog. He doesn't travel real well, so uh, JB is with us. He is uh, chairman of the board right there. He is taking over Lucky's position on our jackpot starting next week. We will uh, commence that effort. Although we did have three winners last week for $100. Everyone got their checks, except I'm still waiting for two, Affy and... Uh, Diver Mark, ah, Affy and Diver Mark, I don't have your name, I don't have your contact info to send you a check. Your checks are literally sitting on my desk waiting to go out. So if you're here today or if you know Affy and uh, uh, Diver Mark, and you guys, uh, you got money waiting. Again, how do you get money? You just go to the new Steve Henry show dot com and you register and that way we got your name we got your address and when you win we get you a check simple deal right okay 
That's it. I, so in compilation, one more time, Wednesday, we're going to find out what entrees won. And on Saturday live, we're going to spin. The first thing we're going to do is spin and we're going to spin. The spinner now, another spinner has arrived. We have a lot of spinners around here, if you haven't noticed. This spinner here is if you have partaken in the new Steve Henry show experience today and you have commented by saying something like, Steve, I'm here. Steve, I'm here. Steve, I'm here. That's all you got to do. Uh, by doing so, put you into this spinner here. This spinner, uh, I told you one day, I'd like to stay here until about seven o'clock at night just spinning names out. It's a $50 spin, and I love writing checks for $50. I know it's not a lot of money, but you know, hey, it might fill up your tank. Prices are coming down. Don't, don't, don't get too comfortable with that. Uh, but uh, things are getting better. So we do spin, uh, and I can do this now. Uh, by 420, we wanna make sure all the names are in here. We have a ton of names. Now, this does not include, obviously, the um, our, our good friends that are long distance uh, again uh, we will find a way to compensate you and get you involved in another way uh, these are our, our board of directors as we call them uh, a, a nice crowd Emma Lindsay Emma Lindsay give it up for Emma Lindsay you are the first recipient of a $50 check by the way Emma I hope you have registered at the new Steve Henry show.com your checks go out on Monday or Tuesday at the latest you should have those before the end of the week and uh, you can understand that I've been writing checks now for over a year and a half, probably over 70 or $80,000 by now. We have never had a check come back or a check lost or something like that. And believe me, believe me, if something were to go wrong, the fire were to start, you would hear about it in the comments section. So we are true to our word. We send the money out. We are good for it. Uh, we're, we don't overextend ourselves. Um, GT Rivers is a second winner of the $50 spin. And again, the $50 spin is all you gotta do is say, Steve, I'm here. I, I, I attended your show live this Saturday and that puts you into the spinner. We spin and it's 50 bucks, okay? So we also have Cameron Sass. Uh, you know how I am. One thing about uh, me with names is not very good. Um, and the uh, the writer up there, we love Shanna, Shanna, Bodana, Fee, Five, Bofana. Yeah, that's uh, Molly's uh, daughter. Yeah, you give me that, uh, give me that high five. Sometimes your writing is to be hideous. You know what I'm saying? You should, you should have been a physician. All right, <laughs> Kay Nache, we know who that is. That is a lovely lady. Uh, that's Bam's mom. Bam's mom just won 50 bucks, baby. Now, do we have a winner? I, I'm not looking and I can't see too well on the uh that was national omelet day we had a lot of people okay national omelet day was our first video and that was a cool video we were all sitting together here most of that was april's family um we all got together and we did a, a, an omelet smashing against the window that was my idea um all this stuff basically comes to me but it comes again through god uh from god um we did something uh Chi and chong we did something called the chris cooper series you got to watch that loved ones if you get time you got to go back and watch that we were trying to be like seinfeld and every week come up with something just so bizarre that you know you couldn't wait for the next week and that was cool we were doing it but it was so hard i'm trying to run a car dealership and do that at the same time it was very hard i know i'm running out of time oh my god i'm really running out of time Gosh darn, Aureli Herrera. I think you won last week or the week before. Congratulations, sweetheart. You are the winner of a $50 bill as well. Um, and again, uh, loved ones, one more time. I need you to go. This is a, uh, a call to action, okay? When they got a CTA, a call to action, baby. I need you to go and find that right side of the screen where it shows mix, M I X the new Steve Henry show. And it's gonna, when you click that, it's gonna show the entire library of our, all the videos that we've ever done. Uh, cooking has really only been around for a little over a year. Uh, I contracted COVID, damn near died. And sitting in the hospital about a year and a half ago, I, I con conducted a, this, uh, this, uh, this ambiance and this uh, experience called food. It's what God gifted me to do. And it turns out pretty good. And that's what we're gonna stay with, but it's gonna get a lot more interesting. I promise you that as things go forward here. Roy Montano, my good friend, baby, Roy. And I text you early on in the show, you're a recipient of $50 too. That is awesome, Roy. And I miss you, buddy, I, I really do. Roy used to work for us. Um, back in the day and uh, put in a lot of blood and sweat and tears and uh, I could still go around Roy just so you know I could still go around to our mission place or whatever and they still ask how are you doing uh, one of them in fact asked if you were the owner of the company the way you ran and operated and just hustled uh, this guy has to be the owner of one of the partners in the company I get that still to this day I want you to know that question where do they vote again about 
Okay, the voting, one more time. Let's rewind this again, one more time. Um, by the way, uh, I, I'm just gonna say a few things here. I, I'd like to, well, you know what, I know. Randy, I agree with you, and uh, wood, wor, uh, word Builder, the ribeye is the best steak. I love the ribeye medium rare, I gotta tell you, those are the bomb. Uh, you go, this is how you vote, okay? You go to the comment section, okay, comments, and just put in there, we can follow your, who you are with your, with, your, uh, with your comment. Just put number three, number two, and if you wanna say something, you can too. Hey, I love the sushi, but, uh, I don't want it medium rare. I'd rather have it medium well. And that's, that's, that's up to you. You can do a sushi medium well, a sushi beef medium well. It doesn't have to be rare. I'm just trying to give you the, the look of tuna. You know, when you put tuna on that, uh, on that California roll or whatever, yeah, it's, it's a raw looking piece of meat. It, it's supposed to uh, resemble that. I try to come close. I, I, I try, I try. All right, I've got another $50 recipient in here. Wow, this is pretty cool. I like this guy a lot. This guy's been with us for quite a while. His mom is named Minnie. He brought his uh, sister in here recently. Matt Clary, congratulations. You are the last recipient of $50. Mr. Matt Clary, give it up. So voting again, just the comment section. Vote one, two, or three. We're going to disclose the winners on Wednesday, and we're going to spin for the money, baby, on Saturday. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be a lot of money going out and a lot of good times. Uh, hello to everybody abroad. If you are from Pakistan, if you're from I don't Istanbul, I don't care where you're from, you are welcome on this show. Congratulations on coming over for the first time. We hope you stay because it is a fun show. Look for a little video on Wednesday right here on the YouTube show, the new Steve Henry show. It'll be a preview of what's coming Saturday. Next Saturday, what is it? I'm going to keep that a secret because it's going to be one heck of a surprise. Loved ones, it is always a pleasure. And again, I'm looking back at this cake. 10,000 subscribers. Really? Who would have ever thought? Who would have ever thought? And I owe it all to you. You guys are the ones. You guys are the boots on the ground. And I love you. You have no idea. Um, the car business is getting to be a fond, fond memory because when I get to do this full time and spin and do and give, you guys are just going to be the recipients of that. I love you all. I'll see you next week for one heck of a show. Don't forget to vote. Have a great week. We love you. See you next week. Doom, doom.